Hey there, thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. Welcome back to Google Conflicting Accounts video series. In this video, I'll be talking to you about something very, very specific that you might run into if you are using Google Workspace or Google Cloud Identity. So let me share my screen and let's talk about this. In case you have seen this email address, maybe if you are a user or if you're a Google admin, that your account has been renamed to username domain name at gtempaccount.com then this video is for you we will be reversing it back to your original email address which you know which would have been username at just domain.com but before we do that let's understand why did this happen in the first place so for that, just keep this in mind that email addresses are unique, which means once you create an email address, nobody else can take that specific email address. So what happened uh, was that you had created a personal or consumer Google account with your corporate email address. So you're, you already had an account in Google's infrastructure. And now your admin or your company signed up for either Google Workspace or maybe Google Cloud Identity, they verified their domain and they own this domain, which means they have rights to claim or create any email address on this domain. You as a consumer user, you do not have that right, okay? So as an admin, you went to your Google Admin Console, you tried to create this account, and then you saw this message which says, this user already had an account as a consumer or as a, it's a personal account. So you have two options. Either you can request them so that they can transfer their data from personal to work account and uh, their account will be converted from personal to work. And the second option was that you can go ahead and create an account for this user, but their account will then be renamed to this GTemp account because email address can be unique if you create their account in your work console or as a work account then their consumer account can't have that same email address so that account will be renamed to this gtemp account and this is what exactly happened which turned your email address into this gtemp account now that may be because your admin didn't pay enough attention or he wasn't aware of this outcome or whatever happened now the the problem is that because of some reason you need to change this email address back to your original email address and in this video i'll show you how to do that so first let's understand who is required to fix it or to do that reverse Number one, your Google admin, and that can be your Google Workspace admin if you're using Workspace, or your Google Cloud Identity admin. You should have that on your side, and also personal account uh, owner. So in case if you, you own that account, your involvement is also required in this scenario. Now, before I share my screen and show you how you will get this done, let me first help you understand the journey that we will take to reverse from gtemp account to the original account. So first step is to release the email from your work account. So if let's say you had your email, which is user at example.com, you will go to your example.com Google admin console where you have created this user at example.com and you will need to release that email or uh, you can release it by either deleting that account or maybe you can rename that account and delete an alias which Google creates by itself. And I'll show you that in a minute. Second step would be to arrange uh, an option to receive email on the original ID because if you if you look at the step number three, which is change email on personal account. So what we are doing here is we are releasing that email user at example.com. Then we will go to our personal account and we will say Google we still own that email, which is user at example.com. So give us that email address and help us get rid of our GTemp account. Rename this email address. Well, Google will say, that's fine. But first, you will need to verify that you own user at example.com. And for that, 
I will send you a verification link on that email. So make sure that you have made arrangements to receive email which is sent to user at example.com. Once you get that link, you will click on that link, you will verify that email ownership to Google. And once you do that, that account will be reversed and your GTEMP account will be renamed back to the original ID that you have. So with that understanding in place, now let me share my screen and show you that in action. So I'm in my Google Drive and this Google Drive belongs to my consumer account or my personal account, which is austin at mydomain.com, okay? Now I will go to my admin console and I will create a user and let's call this user uh, Mr. Work and give it the same email ID, which is Austin. And then I will also put a password for this user. But you will notice that as soon as I create a new user, it says this user already had a consumer or an unmanaged account. So now I have two options as an admin. I can send him an email request so that he can accept that request. His account will be converted from personal to work account and his data in personal account would also be migrated or removed to work account. But the case that we are discussing in this video is that you decided to go with this, which will rename his email to this GTEMP account. So I will click on continue. Austin's account is created. All good here. If I search, I can see that I, I was able to reserve or claim this email because I own this domain, not Austin does it. So I have this email, but now if I go to my consumer account and if I do a quick refresh here, you will notice that his email is now changed to this GTEMP account. And this is what we are reversing in this video okay so as we discussed first we will go to manage account here under manage account we will go to personal info and here we will see austin's email we'll click on that and then we will click on google account email it will ask for our consumer account password once we are here after putting password we will click on edit to change this email address and we will put the email address that we had originally which is id austin at my domain but if i click on send verification email you will notice that google gives us error when i click on that it says oh, oh this email is associated with another google account so you can't claim it because email addresses are unique so what do we do now is go back to admin console and we release this email so that Austin can claim this back here. So here I will go ahead and I have two options. Either I can delete it if that's what uh, is okay with you or I can rename it. So for now I will prefer rename and I will say let's make it Austin 2 okay and rename it. Now, a point to note here is that when you rename an email in Google, by default, Google creates the old email as an alias. So if I go to user information, you will see that nickname has been created, which is Austin. So if we still go and click on send verification email, we will still get this error because that email is still associated as an alias. So we'll come here and we will release that too and click on save. Okay, now we have released that email. We do not have anything with austin at domain.com. So if we go here and click on send verification email, then this time it will work fine and email will be sent to this ID. But because we don't have the Austin uh, account yet here in our console, that email will not be delivered, right? So we need to make sure that we make some arrangement to receive email sent to this email address and for that you know you need to work with of course your uh, google workspace or google cloud identity admin in case if you're using google cloud identity and your email are pointing to let's say office 365 then you will need to make that arrangement in office 365 so that any email that is sent to this id can be delivered and then so that you can click the verification link in that email and verify that you still on that email in my case i'm using google workspace so for that i will go to apps google workspace and then i will go to gmail and under gmail uh, there are a few options to do this routing 
I will go for something called default uh, routing. And I will show you how you can uh, create that specific rule. Now, I already have a catch-all account in place. And as you know, catch-all simply means that if the mailbox does not exist in your uh, Google workspace, then that email, instead of bouncing, will come to some other uh, mailbox. Okay, I already have that catch-alls, but you can also create a new rule here by adding uh, add another rule. And your rule will say something like, uh, if the email comes to Austin or whatever that original email address is in your domain, then what you should do Google is you should change that envelope recipient and send it to some other mailbox. This mailbox can be the mailbox that you just renamed or maybe your admin email address, uh, etc. Okay, I have the catch-all account in place, so it will come to my catch-all account too and uh, this is my admin catch-all account so every catch-all account uh, would come here so now i will go ahead and say that send verification email google we are ready to receive email on sent to this email address this time it will work fine it says okay but now it says pending verification if verified then you will have a good news that your email is changed from gtemp to this original id so i will go back to my catch-all account and do a quick refresh and uh, to see if it landed there oops it not yet maybe it went to my spam it did oh wow okay not sure how that happened but zero minutes ago so make sure to check that spam email label too. Now it says we have received a request to rename this to confirm this change. Click here. And if you have a catch-all account, once you click here, it will ask you to log in with that email, but don't worry about it. Once you click on that link, your email is verified. So if I go back after clicking that link and do a quick reload, voila, we have claimed our email back. Okay, so now, our email is back to the original one. So if I go to my Google Drive, you still see this old uh, uh, GTEMP email, but let me do a quick refresh here. Uh, if I just refresh the screen, go back here and we are back to business. Now for future reference, in case if you need to transfer this account, assuming you have some business data in this account, to your work account then there is another way that your google admin should follow which is to send you a transfer request once you have that request which would say austin or whatever the username is your company has transitioned to google workspace or google cloud identity and requesting you to transfer your personal account to work account if you accept that request then your personal account will be converted to your corporate account and all the data that you have in this account will be moved there in your work account and i have dedicated video covering that uh, whole process and i'll link that uh, in the description below uh, please check that out if that's your use case so i know it was a bit confusing it's a lengthy process but unfortunately this is the only way to reclaim uh, the account and one very important point to note here is that especially if you're a google admin this cannot be done in bulk there is no api there is no you know, automation possible for this this has to be done manually for each user so that's why i usually say that when you would start provisioning users you should always start with understanding what are Google conflicting accounts and how should you handle them seamlessly? If you haven't watched this video, whatever happened so far, we can't control it other than doing this process manually. But for future references, I will link my other videos. Please do watch conflicting accounts in detail before attempting your Google Cloud identity or workspace provisioning. With that, uh, thank you so much. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate. Take care, guys.